And blood transfusion is one area of healthcare that is vital and requires a sufficient power supply for safe preservation. However, practitioners claim that due to the nation's unstable power supply, they have difficulties keeping blood in banks at different medical facilities. Our correspondent, Dr. Karu Gray, has details on this report. Third Biennial International Conference of the Nigerian Society of Hematology and Blood Transfusion Scientists brought together members from all around the nation in Yenagua. And the highlights in the Indians, which comes with each part of religion. The five-day conference is themed global pandemic and blood security and practitioners are urging the government to enact laws that would improve the efficiency of the nation's blood and transfusion sector. Because we don't have good uh, power system to preserve the blood, many of the blood that we even donate, that people donate for patients, are wasted. And in these days, we have modern techniques to preserve blood. So if the government is ready to adopt policies to make the blood transfusion sector work in the hospital, these equipments have to be provided. The rapid diagnostic test it cannot detect so many pathogens. But if, as the National Blood Transfusion Commission have uh, uh, asked us to do across the country, the gold standard for screening blood is ELISA. And the entire Biasa State facilities, there are no, there are no Lysa machine for screening blood. So the Biasa State government should please procure a Lysa machine so that we can transfuse safe blood to our citizens in Biasa State. While some experts expressed concern that voluntary blood donations are insufficient during pandemics. They also pointed out that giving blood every three to four months improves one's health. When there's pandemic, it's an emergency. That emergency needs intervention. Part of intervention is blood transfusion. And unfortunately, during pandemic, everybody, volunteer uh, donors may not be enough. As part of the activities of the society, advocacy is one of them. As a policy, you can only donate blood once in three or four months. Anybody that wishes to donate blood must pass through the right process of screening and certified fit. People that are fit to donate blood are adults between the ages of 18 to 65. The World Health Organization has recommended that national blood policies and legislative frameworks oversee the national blood system in order to ensure consistent and uniform application of standards pertaining to the safety and quality of blood and blood products. Dal Korugre, Plus TV News, by Alsa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.